With all the sludge and bile Disney have regurgitated over recent years like a talentless bulimic girl desperate for a TikTok following, it's nourishing to find a film that actually understands fairy tales and the dark, twisted origins of whence they came. You're right, Zegler. I just mean that it's no longer 1937. <laughs> Indeed it's not. It's the far uglier, intellectually challenged, soulless 2023 where Hollywood continues to showcase girls who are more bot than human. Weird. Weird. Who prioritize their already perfect selves. Weird. And girl boss ambitions. Weird. Over even the rudimentary components that make up a proper once upon a timing. Weird. Weird. This is why I was pleased to discover this little Finnish Fabergé egg of a film, Hatching a sickeningly black, morose and macabre folktale story where not even the grotesque hues and pretty floral wallpaper can hope to hide the union shadows soon to seep out of its cracks. If you're a fan of Pan's Labyrinth, The Babadook and even Black Mirror before Black Mirror started getting sucky, Shove it up your ass! Hatchin's gonna boil your salmonella just the way you like it. Whilst primarily a story about the loss and even corruption of youth in a union shadow sense, Hatching utilises a folktale trope to mostly great effect during its short runtime of 1 hour 20, where our lead gymnast focused and surface shy girl, Tinya, is slowly waking to the toxic effect her matriarchal influencer mother and emotionally dysfunctional family have had on her, all whilst growing from tween to teen. At the age of only 12, the dark reality behind the picture-perfect screen of her vile family and their perpetually camera-ready home starts to be spotted through the cracks, leaving her in a coming-of-age struggle as she nurses and tends to one big fuck-off egg. With the divided self becoming evident through insinuations of eating disorders, blood-stained bedsheets and an ongoing battle with an impossible-to-please monster of a mother, Tinya and her vile alter ego, representing both her and her mother's parasitical influence, take us on a flight upon a broken, twisted wing, colliding with innocence lost and obstacles of conflicting beliefs, hurtling us toward a self-destructive and deliciously unsavoury ending, where our little gymnast is tossed through the looking glass and forever scarred by its shards. Without spoiling too much, I just want to touch upon one of the excellent opening scenes where our girl finds the egg in question. With prior knowledge of what recently occurred, we observe the girl displaying empathy for this crippled bird's flight one moment, only to witness a glimpse of the wretched darkness residing in her the next, which sets up the dualism of the film fucking fantastically. In a short fairy tale kiss scene, the movie is wonderfully poised. Whilst mirroring the opening sequence to set up its themes, Tinya switches roles with her mother here to get a glimpse of herself, where what she chooses to nurture will be defined by her own upbringing and the awakening of her new self as it unfolds. In a sense, she's about to play mother and daughter to the deranged child she never knew she was. And, of course, this scene demonstrates some of the super fun, fucked up shit we're soon to bear witness to as well. While simple, it's perfectly fitting with the themes and verisimilitude of the film, which, though a tad repetitive on this front the longer it goes on, keeps in line with the film's intended message to near-on perfection. Having said that, another scene later on has Tinya's neighbour and fellow gymnast walking home, alone, through a huge country road, stretching the believability aspect to near cracking point. It was there because it needed to be, but the barren surroundings really made you wonder what sort of parents she had, and I felt the script could have worked harder to make the scenario a little easier to peck upon. Tinya's mother offers her a lift beforehand, where it would have been better, and more in line with her character, for the girl to ask for a lift due to a no-show parent, only for the bitch mother to refuse or make some sort of half ass excuse. It's a little pet peeve, admittedly, but it definitely could have been handled better. Aside from that, and the story feeling a tad stretched out despite its short run, Hatching also features some brilliant animatronic work instead of some tired old CGI, adding to the macabre nature of the tale instead of derailing from it. I won't spoil it here, but the creature conjured up is deliciously fucking revolting. 
The acting is superb all round, especially from the lead girl, relishing her monstrous side with feather plucking aplomb, whilst everyone behind the camera are on top of their game, from the production design to the wicked editing and everything in between. So, if you're sick to the teeth of Disney's Dodo remakes, give Hatching a good old crack.